Some people decide for a person's disability. The person that is having it, instead of discussing the issues with them, they discuss issues on their behalf. So that extends. So we just this document, this national policy document, has uh, was developed since 2018, launched by then former Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale. And since that time, I've not heard of it. And it's one of our mandates to look at sexual and reproductive health for persons with disability. So here we are today. So we call people that concerns, the media people like you, to help us create awareness that persons with disability are there in our community. They are there, they are human beings like us. They too, they want to reprocate. They want to have children. They want to have families. They, want to, they don't want to live in, in rural again. They are, because they have most of them are poor. No, the government is not giving them job. Individual is not giving job. The organization is not giving them job. Nobody is paying attention. So many things is going as, in fact, down the drain. So we don't know where to go in Nigeria. Not even disabilities alone. Even Fistula, they are not paying attention to them. I think they should pay special attention to these people. The hospitals of the hospitals, you can't get there to see RAM. It's not built because of them. No person to interpret, even if the deaf person is there. The, uh, most of the facilities are staircase. No RAM. If you go to Ministry of Health today, the RAM that was just put there, you can't even assess it. You can't go on top of it and come down. So sloppy. If a person with ability go on top, he will fall down and create another fracture. Like me, I can't go on it. We have a lot of issues of uh, gender-based violence. We have issue of discrimination against these persons with disability, which even gets to the uh, to the uh, to the earth facilities. The earth workers, some earth workers, still discriminate against persons with disabilities, and also the issue of uh, 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 not having access to essential healthcare services that are, that could save life. If a woman is pregnant, she's expected to have antenatal care and deliver in the health facility. If we do not implement this, uh, this, the current situation might not change. And the current situation is where we are persons with disability not accessing health care as we expect. So if we are able to promote this policy, everyone, including persons with disability, can have access to this health care that will save them from complications and even which and sometimes even death. People are still not so aware of the existence of the policy. People are still not aware of how to go about implementing the policy. So when, um, for instance, the communities do not even know that such a policy exists, they do not know what to go and demand for when they go visit healthcare facilities. And so even if they go and demand, the healthcare um, providers who are also not aware of the policy will not know what and what to put in place so that when persons with disabilities come to access services, they will have um, access to those services. So we need to do a lot more in, in raising awareness on the existence of the policy. Of course, the, the one we always talk about is the issue of resources, funding. You know, we need to channel more funds towards implementation at the very lowest levels, the grassroots levels, the community levels, the, the local government levels, because that is where we find persons with disabilities in large numbers. So resources need to be channeled um, in, in those areas. And of course, there's also the issue of um, disability discrimination as an issue, standalone issue itself. Because persons with disabilities are treated from the charity perspective, they are not treated as people who have rights. Nobody really wants to pay much attention to their issues. Nobody wants to, um, there is no political will or commitment to, towards implementing the policy because it is not one of those fashionable or, or um, sensational policies. So these are some of the issues I think is impeding implementation.